Hey guys, I took the day off today and we're gonna go to a thrift store that I never come to. It's a little bit further away. It's like 20, 25 minutes away. Um, and I'm excited to come to this Goodwill. It is um, the Westport Goodwill. There's a lot of affluence in this community. So sometimes the stuff here are pretty um, high quality. So let's go finding. know like I feel like sometimes you have to push through when you don't know when you feel like you're not having a great thrift day it wasn't great at first um a lot of stuff like just seemed really picked over or there was a lot of um like not great brand stuff like I saw a lot of Shein just was confused <laughs> so I don't know we people over the last week have been coming and picking stuff over so it was just an off an off day life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling It is a little bit of a gloomy day. Uh, we've actually had great weather, but um, it's raining today and it's fine. It's good for the plants. But uh, I thought, you know what? Let's do a haul since I've been doing um, a little bit of thrift shopping, um, some estate sale stuff, and I just came back from an estate sale and I picked up some items, um, a little bit larger items than I normally pick up. And I actually haven't unpacked some stuff that I picked up the other day. So why don't we start with that since I haven't gotten a chance to unpack. It's just been a really busy week. But I picked this up at the Goodwill. I actually have never really found um, circular ones like this. Uh, and they actually, they are wood. Um, so they're like wood back here. So a little bit in not great shape. Um, I, get, I think they're wood or part of it is wood. 
Anyway, so a little bit beat up. It needs some work, but nothing I can't fix with some rub and buff um, and a good clean. And I like the botanicals in them. I just think this, these are really pretty and I love the shape. I don't have anything shaped like this kind of circular oval. So, or oval, I guess. Like this. Oh, those were, the, these were marked, oh, okay. These were marked $5. Uh, the girl gave them to me for four, both for $4. So it was a really good price. And it just happened to be a really nice girl um, who was pricing things really nicely for me. This was 50 cents. Um, at the Goodwill. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it's probably, I mean, it's, I'm going to use it as a little bud vase, uh, but I just love the crystal stuff like this. And since I've been collecting crystal like this, um, it'll actually just match really nicely. And then I also found, actually it kind of looks like it's from the same set, uh, but they were in different places. These crystal plates that are, I think, really cute. I feel like this would just look really nice um, on a spring tablescape or a summer tablescape because it's um, crystal and clear glass um, and it catches the light really nicely. So I love that. I've been into um, kind of crystal tableware lately. Um, so I was looking for this set. So those were for a dollar a piece, so $4. Um, and then while I'm on crystal, I actually got this at an estate sale. Um, and actually that's it from that Goodwill. Okay, so uh, while we're on crystal, I did just get this crystal decanter at uh, one of the auction sales that I pick up. Uh, this set came together for $6. Um, which is, I don't know, I feel like these go for more. They go for 10 or 11. Um, I do like that it had the stopper. Of course you could use it for whiskey. I've been thinking of um, using this for mouthwash in the bathroom. Uh, I do have other decanters for whiskey. I thought I'd really like to put mouthwash in here because I hate the Listerine or Crest whatever bottle. It just looks so ugly in my bathroom. So I thought that's what I would use that for. And I got that idea from She Holds Dearly. Uh, she mentioned it in one of her videos and I was like, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. So I have been looking for this for a long time and um, there was always really nice bottles, kind of like this shape or even a little bit more circular and long, uh, but they would go for 10 or $11 and I didn't want to pay that. So I thought, okay, this set for $6 was okay. Um, moving along, also from an estate sale, this is kind of a random, a little bit random. It's a Creative Wood Specialties Ink uh, massage pet. And it's a little elephant. I love elephants, um, but I also kind of love wood toys and stuff like this. I know this is, it's a massage thing, um, which is kind of neat. But I, uh, I like collecting stuff like this for a future nursery. It was like $4 at the estate sale. And it's new with tat, like it's, <laughs> this is funny. Massage pets are irresistible. Your massage pet creates good feelings, soothes aching back muscles, relieves tension and makes friends. When you massage someone's back, they may never want you to stop. Beware and let the good times roll. <laughs> this is hilarious. That's cute. Oh, it's gonna roll away. Okay, hold up. All right. Next, um, this was also at that estate sale lot. Um, I, I have two estate sales here and I, was just watching two, two different estate sales and they had different lots that had a lot of good stuff in it. So this I got, uh, I think for $8. 
It's a Bristol brass and copper ink, uh, solid brass made in the USA in Tennessee. And I just think this is really nice. It's, it's, it's a good, you know, planter. That's what I think I'm gonna use it for as a planter. Uh, and I love the brass finish on it and it has a little bit of copper. Uh, I thought that was a good find. I did get a couple of tables. So a, it looks like a planter table because it's a little bit shorter, um, a round one made of wood. I guess they're pedestal tables. Um, <clears throat> one of them is shaped like an octagon and um, you know has a little bit uh, yeah, it's tart. It's it just needs a good cleaning. Um, sometimes I just really need to switch out some tables that I have or additional surfaces around my space. Um, I've been thinking of donating some stuff to Goodwill, so that's why I really wanted a couple of pedestal tables. This was eight dollars. That was five dollars uh, at the estate sale. Okay, I'll come back to this book because that's like a different thing. Um, also, I found a cute little picnic basket. I do like to collect picnic baskets. I just think they're really sweet. I actually currently use some um, for storage. Uh, so I store, uh, you know, autumn decor or Christmas decor in them. Uh, and then I kind of stack them up. Uh, this one I didn't really want for storage. I actually wanted it to use as a picnic basket. And I will probably uh, fill up my bathtub and like dunk it in, make sure it's nice and clean, and then you put it out in the sun to dry. Uh, it should be fine like that. But I like this little picnic basket. It's like an actual, you know, wicker picnic basket. The ones I have um, have a wood top and are, have like a woven. Uh, wicker, which I love, but I'm using them currently for storage and I do want to go out on a picnic. I have another one that David bought for me that's really sweet, but it's white and blue um, and more square. So it's not a traditional kind of old school picnic basket. And I really like these ones. I think they're so nice. Uh, and what I love about this one is that it actually did come with, um, you know, whatever this is, like with plates, it looks like a paper plate, but it's not, it's some sort of like enamel or something. Uh, and silverware and these napkins. I love that pattern, that like red and beige gingham um, and actual silverware with blue. Uh, so I love that. I thought that was so sweet. You know, I'd probably just switch out this ribbon. I mean, obviously I'm gonna give this all a good wash um, and this too, it's gonna go on the laundry uh, and I'll probably just switch this out with twine. But I thought that was really nice. It came with a set of four and four plates and a, a you know, a little, what even are you? Oh, I thought it was a, I guess it's like more napkins, but um, you know, you could put a blanket in here. So I thought that was really cute. Um, and this picnic basket was a dollar at the estate sale. Uh, I don't think anybody was really into the picnic basket situation, but I was. Um, so I love that. Then I also found these. I know they're not for everyone but I have an obsession with farm animals um, and of course rabbits. I, this is a bunny channel as well. Um, so I love cows, chickens, pigs, rabbits, you know, those are my thing. And I just, these prints were a dollar each. Um, no, these prints were These prints for $4, so somebody else was looking at these. Uh, I know they're not for everybody, but I love them. I also really like their shape, that they're like longer um, and can kind of go stack like this. Uh, I put stuff like this, you know, maybe I could switch it out with some of the stuff I have already or put it in my kitchen. I really like the 
kind of vintage farmhouse feel. Uh, and prints like these I just thought are really sweet. I'm ex I was excited about these. Um, and I hardly ever find rabbit stuff, so I, I got excited. Another thing that I found were these um, stools. These stools were $6 for two of them. There actually were four, but somebody else got the other two and I didn't need four anyway. So that's, or I mean, I kind of wish I had gotten four of them for $12 because I think the other set was going for six two. Um, we were bidding, obviously it started at one and people kept bidding. Um, it went, both of them went up to six, um, but for what I have right now, I don't have room for four stools. Um, my storage is kind of getting a little bit limited, but I just thought that I really would like a stool. At first, it could be a planter stand. Um, that's an easy use for me since I have a million plants, um, but also just a, a space for me to sit in my kitchen, um, you know, around the island. Uh, it would be nice uh, sometimes since I do spend a lot of time in there. Uh, this finish is not my favorite. I don't really like kind of like this yellow pine, but I thought I could sand these down um, and they need to be sanded because they are a little bit older um, and refinish them, stain them. A darker wood, I, am, I do like the kind of walnut or mahogany, I guess, style. Um, something that looks a little bit more vintage, a little bit more antique. Uh, so this is a restoration project, but for $6 for a pair of stools, and stools are hard to find. Like, I don't really find them um, at thrift stores, and I refuse to buy them new. So um, solid wood, six bucks, like $3 a stool, uh, yes. The other thing is, are, were these chairs. Now these are, I'm gonna step back so you can see them. A pair of tapestry chairs. Again, I know they're not for everyone, but really good shape. Um, just need a little bit, maybe a little bit of TLC, but not a whole bunch. Um, and I really just like that design. I think it's pretty this kind of classic design with the handles. Uh, so I thought that was cool. Now on to the free stuff. So I stopped at a kind of garbage recycling spot that we have here in the city of Stanford. I'm sure every city has one. Um, so you can drop off metal, garbage, furniture, stuff like that, and they, they, they throw it away for you. They have um, a used book and also something else, like it is. So I do like to pop in there and see what's in there just in case. I mean, sometimes people just throw away stuff and you could find good frames in there for free. And I stopped by and their little bookstore section was open or not bookstore, I guess it's a book giveaway because they don't sell them. They, people just try and get rid of them and you can go and pick out whatever books you want. You can donate books. Um, so check those out if you have any, you know, recycling places in your hometown or even like the little free libraries um, because you never know what's gonna be in there. I always look for uh, coffee table books or decor books or just stuff that I am interested in that I would like to have. Um, this I probably, if I had seen this at Goodwill, I probably would not have bought it um, because it doesn't really match my aesthetic, but for free, the best of life. Uh, I just thought that was kind of neat um, to have. You know, maybe it could go in David's office since he's like more into colors like this um, as his own coffee table book. But stuff like this that you can look through and it just sparks a conversation, I think is really interesting. I mean, obviously like the cover has seen better days, but that's okay. I, I get rid of the covers anyway. Um, so I thought that was neat. I picked up a bunch of other books, but 
I'm gonna save the best for last because I almost walked out without that and I like died. Um, this is kind of random. I'm not even sure why I picked this up. Oh, um, I picked this up. Yeah, it has a nice cover here, but I actually liked the pages, like the, how they're kind of ragged here. I just think that that's nice for decor because sometimes I decorate with the bind facing the wall or the shelf um, and this kind of out. So I just, I like this. I mean, I don't know, maybe someday I'll read it. <laughs> I Maybe not. See stuff like that and I'm just like, wow, I wonder how, about how long that book has been there and I wonder if they have a certain amount of time that they wait and then they actually get rid of books. And it makes me kind of sad. I was kind of in a rush. I had to go pick up my, my haul before a certain time. And I just popped in there. Um, other books that I love to look at are design books, gardening books, cookbooks, and um, like classical historical books. This is Patterns of Home. Um, and this is just kind of like a guide to designing a home um, and I thought something like this is really practical to have and it also can give me inspiration uh, so I love stuff like this uh, and these books go for a lot $35 at the store um, so I mean for $35 I'm taking this thing home and using it as um, you know inspiration for future design and it has a nice cover so you know I don't have to keep this whole thing but nice coffee table book oh art books that's a, that's also something that you should always look for <laughs> any kind of art book um, obviously that you know strikes your fancy uh, I have found great art books. Um, I've shared that on my channel, but this is 17th and 18th century art. Um, you know, again, the, the, I would take away the cover thing, but stuff like this, I just like to have. It's a great coffee table book. Um, you can learn something from it. Uh, sometimes you can take prints out of it if, if you know if you happen to find a really great find like I found um, art of the Louvre uh, that does have prints that you can actually take out but stuff like this I think is just really amazing um, you know 17th and 18th century art like why not know and learn about it um, and save the book from going in the garbage like you know this was a Northern Renaissance art, which is really pretty. Uh, and, you know, I'd love to learn about stuff like that. It has nice prints. Uh, I have seen some of these pictures in that book. So I just thought that was really interesting. Actually, like, this reminds me of, I was watching a lot um, in one of these estate sales or these auctions and there was uh, plaques like vintage antique plaques of the Virgin Mary um, they were religious plaques but stuff like this that look like this shaped this way um, wood plaques very antique um, even almost like kind of withered away but but super beautiful and I loved them. Uh, I don't have a, a whole lot of religious decor here, uh, and I actually don't really like religious decor unless it's something that I find really beautiful. Um, and I'm not gonna get into a whole religious discussion here, uh, but I thought those pieces were incredible, and I did place a bid on them. And, um, the most I wanted to pay for them was $30, but I, you know, it was, a, I think it was a set of four. They ended up going for, I think, $205. Um, it must have been someone who either knew what they were worth, um, you know, had been looking for stuff like that, a reseller or something like that, but they were gorgeous, gorgeous. Like, imagine 
this kind of art on a wood plaque, vintage and antique. Um, and I know the whole religion thing isn't for everyone and it's not for me either, but in that aesthetic and that decor and that design and something vintage, I would put up on my walls. So I lost the bid, but then I, you know, then I found this for free and I was like, oh, well, I'll take the Renaissance art, religious art book for free. Um, I mean, I know it's not the same thing, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, an introduction to music appreciation and history. I love it. I, I really just really like this color to the color of the book and it has like music in it. And no, I don't know how to read music uh, and I don't play any instruments, but maybe one day I will and stuff like this. I really just appreciate. Um, so I thought that was really nice. I mean, just, just, they just had a lot of older books um that I like to pick up either for the coloring uh and I just think stuff like this is really nice um and when it's free you know you can't lose uh and I have been trying to just build up a library of books so that I could um you know fill up a bunch of bookshelves I loved this one Black Beauty uh, I, lo I love that story. I think it's a really nice story. And this is just something that's very old. I loved the book. I mean, it's just so old and it's black beauty and it's textured. Uh, when was this printed or published? Black Beauty, the autobiography of a horse. Right, Anna Sewell. Um, oh Lord, they have illustrations and copyright, but they have it in like Roman numerals and there are so many, I don't know what that number is. It's Roman numeral M-C-M-X-X-I-B. I thought that was really pretty. Um, meditations, uh, something that I just really like that cover. It's really pretty. And it had like red in there. So something like that is nice to decorate with. More books. Um, actually two Bibles. All the miracles of the Bible and a holy Bible. I thought that was really pretty. So rescued those books. Oh my gosh. Let me show you my favorite. Okay. So <laughs> I was go. I did not plan on finding stuff. I just went to pop in and just see, and I didn't bring a bag with me. So I had to take some books to the car and come back with a bag. Um, but as I'm walking out, I just happened to look over to my right and I see this set and I immediately put the other books down because I know this was worth more for me personally, but also just worth more. Um, and I just grabbed this, went to take this to the car first, then I came back for the other ones. But the annotated Shakespeare, A.L. Rouse, the actual like set. Um, this is awesome. This is an awesome find for free. It's an awesome find. Um, and you know, I love myself some Shakespeare. Uh, it has the three different volumes, the tra tragedies and romances. And I love Shakespeare. Um, my dad taught me to read Shakespeare when I was a kid and I've always really loved it. And anytime I go to a bookstore or a thrift store or anything like that, I'm always looking for Shakespeare. Um, but this is a beautiful, beautiful set. Uh, and worth money. Uh, these actually, these books are $55 a piece. So at least that's what they were selling for. Uh, so I just thought that was incredible. I love that I have this set now. Comedies, tragedies, and romances, and histories, sonnets, and other poems. So 
that was my best find at the free bookstore. And I think that my favorite find, I mean, probably my best find at this other, at the estate sales were these chairs. I, I know they're not for everybody, but these chairs are pretty incredible. Um, and I think I even like them more in person. Um, so I, I mean, they were so cheap. <laughs> so I really like those finds. And then of course my bunny prints, um, are my bunny print and my cow print, I think is just like my favorite favorite. So that's my haul. Thanks to you guys for sticking it with me.